bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Our next guest is proposing new legislation to help solve crimes. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Linda Kurtz and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is New Jersey State Assemblyman Dr. Herb Conway. And today we're talking about DNA collection and helping law enforcement. Thanks for joining us today. Nice to see you. Good to be here. Now you're proposing a new bill for DNA collection, but let's talk about what's currently um, happening now with DNA collection. A few years ago, uh, I was privileged to be able to sponsor, along with uh, some of them, uh, Johnson, uh, a bill to expand uh, the state's collection of DNA evidence. Uh, there's a lot of, um, of evidence in other states that by expanding the number and the amount of this DNA material that we're able to collect, uh, we can assist law enforcement in solving crimes. And so that legislation a few years ago uh, required DNA to be collected, primarily through buccal swabs, of all persons convicted of uh, both violent crimes and even property crimes. So, you know, you know, the assaults, the burglaries, in addition to the homicides and the sexual assaults that most people think about uh, when they think about DNA. Okay, and you're proposing new legislation. What is this? This legislation would require uh, that prosecutors keep on file, keep on hand DNA evidence, collected DNA evidence in homicide cases forever, indefinitely, and then for those sexual assault cases, they would keep those uh, that DNA on hand uh, until the sentence is completed uh, 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 for someone who's convicted of, of a se sexual assault. Uh, the reason uh, that we've come to this is because we've had um, seen things like the Innocence Project uh, going on where they have found, and, and again, New Jersey happens to have a very good system. We get it right most of the time, but occasionally there are cases uh, that have come forward while, where there's right? been a failure for some reason. Either a f uh, the technology was not good enough to to absolutely exclude someone from as a possible perpetrator or it didn't um, include someone as the perpetrator uh, accurately enough because of the state of the technology say 10 years ago or uh, right. uh, what have you. So as uh, we have been able to process more DNA, do that better, uh, occasionally it turns out that you know you can narrow the field down uh, even further and find that someone who was convicted um, uh, really wrongly, uh, can be freed. We in New Jersey, unlike um, many other states, allow for DNA evidence to come into play even after someone's convicted. A lot of states down south don't even allow that. But we allow that in New Jersey because, again, we want to get it right. So, uh, and in keeping with that, because we realize that on occasion mistakes do happen uh, in a system here in New Jersey that is really, uh, I would say, second to none uh, in terms of the protection for defendants, making sure that we do get it right, uh, we want to keep that DNA evidence on hand uh, for those very rare cases when something uh, goes amiss. Now, as you said in the beginning of the interview, you have people, uh, whether it's a murder or even just a, a, a crime involving a property, you take swabs of their D DNA, and mm -hmm. I guess it's for a reference database That's to... Right you know, look at different patterns. What? Tell me more about the benefits well, of this. Well, what happens, you know, police officers have told me I've gone to, uh, just speaking with them on the street or going to awards dinners or, or what have you, um, and that the DNA database is very helpful to them. It's even solving things like property crimes. I feel, you know, if you're not safe in your home, if, some, if you're being burgled, you want that crime solved. Now, clearly it's not as bad as uh, someone something involving violence, but these are quality of life issues, and, and police uh, investigate these crimes. They want to be able to solve them. The DNA database has been helpful in those crimes as well. Uh, we are fortunate and I have toured the lab. We have very highly trained people there doing a great job getting this material processed, creating the reference database, sharing that information when appropriate with federal authorities so that we can get the matches we need to solve crimes, to aid police solving crimes and helping make uh, our community safer. So do you think that law enforcement also agrees with you that this is really going to have a profound uh, impact on cracking a number of cases? Well, the DNA database is already having that impact. Uh, we're seeing that uh, today. Uh, the prosecutors in this latest effort on maintaining uh, this DNA database uh, uh, and the material there even longer um, uh, in these post-conviction cases is also helpful. They're asking for it and they're going to get uh, what they require. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. This hour's newsmaker has been New Jersey State Assemblyman Dr. Herb Conaway. I'm Linda Kurtz for Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for watching.